It's me. Who? Laura? Chastisee? Daisy? Rico? No, you did. It's Whitney. What? Shh, I need to see you. It's urgent. It's Hector. He's really gone crazy this time. He's taken Viv. I'll be there. Wait, wait! You don't know where I am. How have you been? Oh, um, good, I guess. <laughs> you got bigger. Yeah. Again. Yeah. <sighs> now listen, this is serious. He's gone, he's taken him. Who? Vivian! Vivian! Shh. We have to be discreet about this. I don't know what he's planning. How do you know it's Hector? A signature crime scene. What do you mean? He actually left his signature on a ransom note at the crime scene. Look. Oh. <sighs> Are you crazy? No. But wh why don't we just pay the ransom? It's only 400 pounds. Need I remind you that you and me, like our ancestors, are Scottish. And we will not be held to ransom by anyone. Our parents made London gin, and we sound English. That's beside the point. Let's go. You got any change, pal? Get a job. You're disgusting. Vivian, my dear, my, how you've grown. Tell me, how are you? I'm okay. So, you're probably wondering why I brought you here. No, I imagine it's just some long-winded attempt to get Max and Whitney over here. Mm -hmm. Perhaps. Do you like music? Yeah. Have you ever heard of a musician called Vanessa Fresta? Of course I've heard of her. It's like most amazing violinist in Edinburgh. This could be rather fun then. I have a treat in store for you. Go on, go on. How'd you get that? <laughs> really care about this little young chap. Fascinating company. Must say a much more interesting sibling than you two. Give us a bit back and nobody needs to get hurt. Really? What's your game, Hector? Give him back. You can take him. Oh, 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 oh. did you really think I would just let you walk in here and take him? <laughs> I told you this was stupid. What do you want from us, Hector? No appreciation for the art of conversation, you <sighs> oaf. Not what do I want from you, why do I want you? Well, that sounds gay. What the fuck do you want from us, you geeky bastard? A lot of pent up testosterone there. <sighs> I hear the uh, steroids have a wee side effect. <sighs> You're not in much of a bargaining position anyway. Aye, how'd you figure that? Get rid of these two cretins. Can I offer you something? Beer, wine, gin, vodka. I brew, brew. No, I'm not thirsty. <laughs> Relax, Max. I'm not gonna kill you. I need you here for a reason. Yeah? Well, you should have just asked me to come here. I needed your full attention. Besides, we left it so awkwardly. I wanted to do this face to face, man to man. Things have been developing rapidly here and I needed you to do a special job.
His name is Archibald Parker Jones. He's standing in the way of our freedom, brother. He works for the government and he's in charge of this campaign to keep Britain whole. Why him? Because without him, their entire campaign would fold like a cheese souffle in Baghdad. What? Independence, Max! Think about it! No more Great Britain with their snotty English snobbery. If you never dreamed about checking in with a passport with a thistle on the front of it, presenting it as a free Scot. Why do you need me for this? Oh, no reason. I just thought you'd want to keep the family in one piece. I'd hate to have to do anything to the beautiful wit. When do we leave? Immediately. Nice work. I don't, I think they went to a place to kill the guy. I'm gonna assassinate a politician. What? Don't, okay. no, no, don't tell Mr. Hector, okay? <laughs> This is it. Okay, but after this we're even. No! Matthew, no! <sighs> Just go. Weapon down, mister. I don't want anybody to get hurt again. It's over, Hector. Just let them go, we'll walk away, and we'll never speak of this again. I'm afraid I can't do that. You're a military man now, so that's a risk I can't afford to take. Take it easy, Hector. I could have done it better myself. But you wouldn't let them do that to me. You wouldn't let these savages kill me. 
Tom's back in our corner and reacts! You can't kill people to get your way, Hector. And you're never going to learn. If I leave you here, there's no telling what you'll do. And I can't allow innocent people to die. Even though you're my brother, and I love you, you'll never be in my family. No. Goodbye, Hector. No! <laughs>